Oh, money? Can you have too much money? Uh, no, you cannot have too much money, but you can have enough money. And I can tell you what I think enough money is. What is, is. enough I money? Tell you, I can tell you when I'll stop working. So enough money is you don't even need to reach. I'm at eight figures now. You don't even need to reach in, 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 in bank balance. I don't count net worth. Mm. I was like, my net worth is this. It's like, bro, you could be a net worth. You could be a millionaire net worth. You got one house, one car, and 50 grand in the bank and a few stocks and bonds. You're still poor. I know that enough money is when you have in the bank mid-level eight figures say 50 million dollars that's enough you can do everything you can do everything if you're not trying to get into politics or buy power or run for president you could do everything you want there's nothing you can do with 50 million that the guy with 200 million you know can do and you can't so that that's that's enough money okay. i'm not one of those guys and people say oh when are you going to become a billionaire one never because most people don't understand how much a billion is. A billion is a lot of money. People yeah, don't it's get a it. lot. It's, they, it's, they don't a stupid get amount. It. So, yeah. So one. You can't even spend a billion dollars in your lifetime. Exactly. Like most of these exactly. billionaires end up giving the money away, you know, charities before they, they die. Exactly. And two, if I had the power to become a billionaire, I'd get a quarter of the way there and retire. But what the fuck would I keep working if I had two hundred fifty million dollars in the bank? What, is it, is the, what does a typical week look like for you guys with you know with work? I'm doing that in quotations because it doesn't look like that you guys work in the conventional sense that most people would think. My, my office is when me, Andrew, and my cousin are together and we have our laptops with us or our phones or our iPads, that's my office. So two weeks ago, my office was at the at the Bulgari five-star hotel in Knightsbridge, London. Uh, now my office is in Bucharest. In, next week, my office is going to be in Miami. As long as I'm with my guys and my team and we do what we need to do and move the, the pieces on the chessboard we need to move, it, it doesn't matter. A typical week in terms of work. Do you have other employees or contractors or just three? Oh, I, I, have, I, have loads, I have loads of employees. I have two personal assistants. And uh, in terms of people who are directly employed by myself or my company, mm -hmm. excluding my casinos, because that brings the number of, uh, over 50. I've got 12, 13 people who work for me. Nine of them have university degrees. That's why I know the number, because I always laugh at that, because me and my brother are not university educated. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe university is a good way of making money. But a typical, a typical week is whatever I want to do. We sit around and we literally say emergency meeting, where it's not an emergency. It doesn't have to be an emergency. And we sit around. Hey, Troy, how you doing? So uh, we sit around. And, and, and a week before that, my, my office was in Ukraine when I was sitting smoking cigars with Troy. Mm -hmm. That's how my life works. I do whatever I like all of the time. That's why I call it God mode. I'm, I'm infinitely free. Do you think I'm that you would free. stop working even if you didn't need to work? Because I've thought well, about this. You know, I've thought, you know what? Even if I'm, you know, sixty and I've got all the money I need, like, would I even stop working? Because I don't think I could. I just like doing shit. I don't know, and it all depends on what you define as work as well. I mean, I engage in product in projects with war room members that make me a lot of money, and I enjoy doing them. Mm -hmm. I enjoy the projects. I enjoy what we're doing. Um, I'd quit some things. I'd quit some things. I would even quit the, I'd even probably throw away the OnlyFans management agency, the webcam girls. I still keep my foot in the door in that industry because it's part of my identity almost. It's, it's what people know me for. But if I had infinite money and I didn't need to make money anymore, I'd keep three or four of my baddest OnlyFans models and just bring them around the world with me. But they're, they're, that's my team who makes me money, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. But when I say bring them around the world with me, they're obviously paying for my flights and theirs through their work. So this isn't some sugar daddy setup. But yeah, I, I changed my I changed my adult entertainment setup for sure. I have far fewer So if, if tomorrow you woke up and you didn't have the cars, the money, the crypto, the real estate, the everything, mm -hmm. but you had your network, what would you do to try to get it all back? Well, I always have that one trick. I, you know, and people will say, "Oh, but what if that didn't exist?" Well, the thing is, webcam modeling and OnlyFans and all this stuff does exist. I can get a beautiful girlfriend and tell her and and manage her and drag forty to fifty thousand dollars a month out of thin air. If I concentrate all of my effort on one ten out of ten female, and she'll do whatever I say, I can conjure forty or fifty thousand dollars a month out of thin air. And that's what I know how to do. That's always going to be my default. I couldn't lose all I have now. That isn't possible. So many things would have to go wrong. But if I did, I'd find a pretty girlfriend and I'd start dragging 50000 a month out of thin air and I would build from there. Is, and, it, uh, is it easy for the average guy to do that, Tristan? Because I've had a conversation with um, 
a guy that was in your war room and got involved with the um, webcam business. He mm-hmm. lives here in Toronto, and he didn't he didn't have the success that he was expecting. He wasn't upset about it. He wasn't happy about it, but um, it seemed like he felt, or the way that I understood it, is that because Tristan Tate is who Tristan Tate is, and because he lives where he lives, and he has access to the women that he does there, it it works. Like, is that reasonable? No, well, it, it can't be reasonable, because the Tristan Tate who became a millionaire doing this was poor, and he lived in Luton, England, in a one-bedroom apartment, and nobody knew who he was. So, So, I mean, can I do it easier now than I did it? Yes, but like with anything... The amount of work that goes in, it's not an easy thing to do. If it were easy, everybody would be doing it. Rich, girls can't do it. This is why girls need people like me. Very few girls. You read about these huge OnlyFans success stories. Most girls' OnlyFans journey goes. They make no money. Yeah, start taking some new pictures. All the people at her old office and work in town see her naked for one month, unsubscribe. Mm -hmm. Three months later, there's content of her all all over the internet, and she's broke as fuck. That's everyone's OnlyFans journey. So girls can't even do it. I teach everybody who tries to learn from me the way I do it. Like with Floyd Mayweather, if you went to his boxing gym, would teach you how to box his way. If you don't pull it off, you don't pull it off. And I I don't know exactly who you're talking about, but there are guys inside of the war room who have, I mean, there's two young kids, 17 and 18 they are. This kid is so young, he couldn't legally post a picture of himself naked anywhere. And he has a bunch of 18, 19 year old girlfriends and he's wearing Rolex watches, cashing a hundred thousand a month. And that is from, from what I teach. So getting, I think the main ingredient to it is your frame with women. Are you good with women? Do women respect you? Does your girlfriend respect you? If the answer is no to those questions, you're going to have very, very bad luck telling her to do these kind of things and asking her to do these kind of things. Got it. So, you know, it's, it's, a, right. it's, it's a hard thing to do. Um, another question I got for you here on my list is, I, saw, I, I can't remember if this was you or Andrew, but I'm sure that you can answer it, you know, regardless of who it was. There was a, a, a tweet at some point. It was something along the lines of a, a discussion thread where a girl got dumped for liking another dude's picture on Instagram. Can you talk about that? Uh, that may have been Andrew. What, Andrew dumped a girl for liking a dude's picture? I can't. I can't remember whether it was you or him, but the but but the thread was her basically begging to have one of you take her back, and oh, one of you were basically saying, "No, you were liking some other yeah. dude's picture on Instagram. I'm, I'm not having it." Well, when, when you we talk, talk about, about why you guys kind of roll that way, well, we roll that way because it depends what we're looking for. It depends mm-hmm. what we're looking for from that woman. Because people will say, "Oh, Tristan, your women are garbage." But I'm like, "Oh, sorry. Do you know who a single one of my girlfriends?" Or baby mamas actually is no you don't know any of them you've never seen a picture of any of them so people don't know the type of women that me and andrew look for but when when i'm looking for something serious it is very much natural selection where when you are in the true abundance mindset of you can have the pick of the crop you can have the world's most attractive women i mean one of my main chicks has two hundred thousand instagram followers and i took her virginity when she was 17. that's legal by the way here i don't know if it's 18 in your crazy country so so and but you know the level of women i have is insane. So why would I tolerate one red flag? I Mm. can't speak for Andrew, but if I'm looking for something serious and I'm weeding out the non-hackers, very much like a, like a military recruitment, uh, you know, the drill sergeant is, why would I tolerate one red flag? Oh, no, she's liking dudes pictures on Instagram. Okay, cool. So you have zero tolerance, no red flags whatsoever. Um, Depending on what I'm looking for. Absolute if I have a, loyalty. If, 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 yeah, if there's a cam girl of mine who's making me money who I bang sometimes. Yeah. And she's messaging dudes on Instagram. I'll say, look, stop messaging fucking dudes on Instagram or you're fired because I yeah. don't like that shit. Because what, if they fall in love with some guy, they'll quit anyway. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I don't, I'm not going to get rid of her for that. You know, she's a business asset. She's an employee who's upset me and, and broken protocol. But if, yeah, certainly if I was, if I, there was a girl and she was like, yeah, Tristan, I want to have your kids. And I was like, yeah, cool. I'll try and get, and I was serious about her. Yeah, liking liking another dude's pictures. I mean, why would you why would you tolerate that at all? You don't yeah. tolerate that. What you guys do, man? Like, uh, they have no choice. Yeah, I mean, like you probably see them from time to time, but I get these uh, notifications from people or for Reddit, and it's like some losers out there, you know, complaining that his girlfriend's got just a friend that's going to come into town, and he doesn't feel good about it. Like, uh-huh. You've seen those, right? I've like guys them. will I've tolerate a lot of stuff. Exactly, but if you really do roll at the top level and you want the best of the best, why tolerate any of it? 
So, so I understand. No liking I, other dudes' pictures, ladies. If you're with Tristan, he doesn't take well, that absolutely. shit. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, why would I, why would you do that? Exactly. Hey, listen, man, I'm in total agreement with you. Um, do, do do do. Where's my next question? Okay, let's talk about kids and family and family sure. law and insuring against um, what I'm going to call family law theft. Because do you, do you have children theft. right now? Yes, I do. I do. Everyone okay. knows I have children because I openly say I have children. Okay, How many? So, what are their names? I don't say any of that. But I you're do. not married, though. Um, no. You know, you obviously take care of your kids and Absolutely. like the mother of your kids, right? So, Absolutely. how do you how do you uh, buffer from uh, family law theft? Because women uh, can behave quite badly if they decide that they're not happy in the relationship. Sometimes they'll steal your kid. They'll run off with them. There's any number of things that they can do. They can rob you through the family law system, depending on what it's like in your country. So. I mean, you've obviously thought about that because you're both clever lads. So how do you insure against that with the way that you've structured your life? Well, the first step has to be vetting the woman that you have kids with. That's that, has to, that has to be, has to be step number one. Absolutely. And if, and if a woman hasn't given me how long do you years vet for, by the way? Years. Oh, it has to be years, years okay. of loyalty, years of loyalty, years of loyal service to the cause before I, I give her a kid. She has to be, do everything I say, no red flags, no messaging other dudes, no, n nothing. There can't be a red flag at that level because, you know, you're going you're gonna to carry the next generation of, of, of my family. And, uh, you know, my family wasn't a very financially successful one, but there are some accolades and, you know, my family's well known for, you know, so, some achievements. And if you're going to breed the next generation of Tates, no, you can't be some, you can't. Well, be some of the guys brother. watching don't, don't know this, but your dad was a um, chess master. He was a world he champion. Was the, he, was, he was the great, no, he was the greatest black chess master who ever lived. Right. So, I mean, I mean, there are plenty of chess masters greater than him, but he was very, very feared and very well respected as a, as a chess master. Certainly never had any money, but, uh, you know, I like to think that me and my brother inherited half of his intelligence and used it to make money. You know, I'm not that good at chess. I'm, I'm certainly not world level or professional, not all, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm a, I'm a strong hobbyist player. But yeah, my point is if you're going to breed the next generation of Tates, uh, and the, the one thing above all else, because you know, I don't know if I could say that online. Well, the one thing, no, no, no. The one thing I'd look for is low body count. Low body count is very, very important. If a girl's fucked 50 dudes and you upset her, what's 51? What's 52? She doesn't give a shit. It doesn't matter anymore. When a girl's had said, and, and you know, you don't always find virgins. I have a few that I date, whether who, who's Virginia I took, of course. But you don't always find girls who are virgins. I'm not saying you can only marry or have kids with virgins. But if a, if a girl's had two or three serious boyfriends and she's in her early 20s, that's not a bad thing. That's that low body count is very, very important. Years of loyalty, number two. But vetting the women is probably the most important thing to avoid family law theft. Uh, and also just maintaining a, a hard line in the sand that you will not cross. And I say to my brother all the time, we, with any woman, a woman who works for us, a woman who has my kids, any woman, I do not negotiate with terrorists. And that's what women can turn into when they fall out of love with you, when they want to leave you, they turn into terrorists. And I do not negotiate. I swear on my father's grave and the, the Lord Jesus Christ be my witness. If one of my baby mamas tomorrow was just like, you know, unless you do this or do this, I'm leaving with your kid and blah, blah, blah. I swear to God, I'd be like, you know what? Fine. My kid can find me when they're 16 or when they're 18. They'll track me down and I'll tell them their mom was a dickhead. If you think I'm going to be paying bribes, essentially paying ransom, bending over backwards, sacrificing my pride, my lifestyle, changing the way I live, or she's going to run away. No, I, I don't negotiate with terrorists. I have my life to live and my kids. 